I, I just think that this wording was a little bit irresponsible. Like, okay, yeah, it, it definitely came off as harsh. Just... I might as well just rebrand my podcast to the Destiny Orbiter podcast. That that sounds good. <laughs> Do it. Amen, brother. All right, what's up? Hey, um, yeah, I just watched the video and um, I basically thought maybe it's better to just have a calm conversation about this um, so you're able to kind of clarify your positions. I'm not uh, here to, like, yell or anything, so this is going to be chill, right? Um, we'll see. I'm a little nervous. Please you should be, because I'm pretty fucking on edge, so... Good luck. I'm pretty oh, sure that in the in about four minutes, we're going to agree on everything. The way that this conversation typically goes is, Destiny, you said all poor people should kill themselves. Do you really believe that? And I respond, no. Obviously, I was being hyperbolic responding to a certain person in chat. And then you'll say, well, don't you think there are systemic or structural issues that make it hard to be poor? And I'll say, well, yeah, of course there are. But there are still some things you can do to improve your situation. I was just giving advice for some people that are able to take advantage of certain things, like being able to move or downsize in your car. And you'll go, oh, well, that's reasonable. I'll go, yeah, thanks. And then that's like the whole discussion, I think. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe maybe that will be uh, what happens here. Uh, so I took some notes down. Um, so I was really curious about this. Oh, um, sorry, I just realized that's kind of a meme. I'm super curious. Um, yeah. But, like, this whole thing of, like, people can literally never move, that's impossible. Um, I, I've i never really heard that. What, is this in reference to anybody I'd know about? Or so is I guess like the nice books? thing, the, the hard thing about having chats with people is that like there's always like dumb fucks in chat typing things and then people are implying things. So for instance, I think, I don't remember the debate exactly, but I think like at one point, like people will say things like, well, we're not saying that all people can't move, but then they'll start giving justifications for why people can't move. Like I'm not saying all people can't move, but people have families and people have disabilities and, pe and it costs a lot of money. It's like, okay, wait, so are you making the argument that they can't move? Or I, I don't understand why you just said that not all people can't move. But you're telling me why people can't move like i guess like i i'd understand if their argument is that there are significant barriers to moving of course there are be sure there can be yeah by like if you're poor it's going to be much harder because you might not be able to pay removalists um you know if you're elderly or disabled you might not be able to move the furniture physically yourself so you know you're a reasonable person and would acknowledge that as well I of course imagine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you'd, you'd have to be pretty bonkers not to, so I'm pretty sure we'd be on the same page about that. But yeah, um, so I guess just right off the bat, I want to say I would never try to suggest that it's literally impossible to ever move. Um, yeah, I think, I think most people true. acknowledge that, sure. Yeah, um, like the housing market in Australia is pretty fucked as well, so um, I don't know if maybe our experiences will be a bit different because, like, I think you said something at one stage about it being twenty five dollars to rent a truck, and I was like, "Are you fucking serious?" Wait, your wait, wait, like... wait, your your economy is wait. <laughs> isn't your minimum wage like twenty two dollars an hour or something? Like, yeah, it's like um, it depends on your age and your industry because um, like apprenticeship wages are much much lower. There's uh -huh. uh, you know if you're under eighteen, then your wages are lower, and yeah. when you're above twenty one, your minimum wage in things like retail and hospo that's like twenty one dollars an hour. So Sure. It depends on your age, but it means that if you're above 21 like me, mm -hmm. uh, you can have more trouble getting a job in some areas because they want to hire 15 year olds because they can pay them about uh, $15 an hour. I think. I yeah, sure. I'm just now. saying that like our, our dollars yeah. aren't directly comparable because everything in Australia, like I think, don't games retail for like yeah, 100 yeah. AUD or whatever, and that's like normal for you guys. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's normal. But that's also partly the conversion rate for the USD to AUD because our money's worth, I think, about 30% less than your money is. So yeah. that, of course, makes American goods a bit more expensive. And uh, America's so far from us that if it's saying directly manufactured in America, it's going to be very expensive. Like, I had friends who liked eating all these American sweets and American foods and... Uh, Mm -hmm. Before there were closer retailers of those, oh, sorry, manufacturers of those, um, like in Asia, it was like really expensive. Like, I think it was like $3 to get a Twinkie, like a single one. And there were people I knew who would pay that for them. Sure. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that's probably not that relevant to our conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, um, like, I guess... Uh, so the $25, I addressed that. Uh, credit card payday loans, you can't help it. There was something to that effect. You said that people are saying that you can't help but be in credit card debt. I but don't agree with that. I, 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 don't, I don't agree either, but I was just like, who... 
who's saying that like they can't help it or like as if they're just a leaf in the wind like i i think that's like sure, so like what ex like... is there anything that we disagree on then oh okay uh unemployment rate is literally 3.5 percent if you can't make it now and find a job then just end it all you're never going to be anything in life no amount of ubi no amount of welfare you're never going to make it just stop. sure so that was in response to some guy in chat saying it's really hard to find jobs and that's just not yeah, true right now in the united states like for some people though that might be the case Who? Where if you've got a lack of experience if you're autistic mm -hmm. if you're okay okay, wait, 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 wait. okay okay so firstly I don't care about like the 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 Vietnam War vet that's like has like seventeen chunks of his like stomach. This is not the usual case. Like, sure, but people. That's a bit of an extreme example. Like, even autistic people have an extremely low employment rate compared to regular. Sure, like, but even autistic person. people are like two percent of the population or something, right? Like, this is not a yeah, normal but... case scenario. Yeah, but, like, I, I still think, like, some of your chat might have genuine, like, problems finding work, and it might not be something that's in their control or their fault. Sure, and that's I just think it's true. a bit of a cold response to have to them. The, if, if you have, like, an extra additional issue like that, sure, your life is going to be harder almost no matter what, even if you're, like, wealthy, although obviously it gets a little easier. Yeah. But, like, that's not, that's clearly not what I'm talking about. Like, well, that would be like yeah, me, like, just... when you say, like, when I say, like, well, here's, like, some really fun things you can do, like, with a date. Like, going out to a park or going hiking is fun. And then everybody yeah. starts responding, not everybody can do that. Some people are handicapped. It's like, okay, well, obviously, I'm not talking about people with extreme, like, that, like, that are literally in a wheelchair. And even people with autism, yeah. like, ASD, that's a wide disease. There are a lot of autistic people that you don't even know they're autistic because they manage, they cope with it so well. Like, they, so I mean, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I agree. I'm not saying, like, autism's like a death sentence, and if you have autism, that's it for you. You're never going to get a job. I'm just saying that it adds an additional uh, layer of difficulty, like, because we don't really interview that well compared to non-autistic candidates for a job. And, like, if you're coming up against somebody who has exactly the same qualifications and experience, but you're the autistic one and they're not, you're not going to interview as well. Sure, but we're talking so, about retail jobs, not like white collar office jobs where the competition is fierce. Like, I'm just talking about like being like a Walmart stalker or like somebody working at like a Taco Bell or something for a little bit. Like, not even for that though, like, if you're up against people, like, again, like, as, as someone who is autistic, I've had trouble getting work at times because of it, where like, um, like, I think some people get kind of, like, a feeling like you're just a bit odd and they don't know, like, where to place you and they they kind of, like, get a bit intimidated okay, by Okay, I'm talking, this odd, is but, yeah. so anecdotal and maybe it's bullshit in my anecdotal mm. experience, but there are a lot of odd fucking people that work at fast food places. These are not <laughs> the top tier, highest, like, people, like, the, the intelligentsia, intelligentsia of society. Like, I have a yeah. really hard time imagining, like, oh, well, I just couldn't get hired at any fast food places because I was autistic. There is no way. The people that work these jobs are insane sometimes. Not to be mean. I worked fast food, and I worked with these people, mm. and holy shit. This idea that, like... Like, I could take it if you, like, no, I'm not trying to, like, play, like, an Olympics of, of oppression game here, but, like, if you have, like, yeah, Down yeah, syndrome yeah. or something, then, like, yeah, I, I can start to believe that more. I worked with an autistic girl on, mm. on my night shift when I was at the casino, and she was, like, fairly autistic, would, like, ramble on when people weren't paying attention, didn't understand jokes at all, but, like, she got a job there, and that's just a one-off example, I understand, but, like... We're still even talking about like a niche of a niche of society like I don't think that like being autistic yeah. is the normal case of like and and then that everything I said still stands earlier as well if you can't find a job in this economy like just like a normal retail job then you need help like you're fucked you're not you're not gonna make it like because it gets harder than this like this is about the easiest it's ever been to find like a low level like retail type job. Yeah, I just, um, I think it's irresponsible messaging considering the fact that people who are unemployed already, I think, generally have some pretty negative emotions about it, and there are people with depression and these kind of things, and I just feel like the specific language you've used here was irresponsible just because, like, the, like you're talking to a pretty vulnerable group, like, in a sense, because, like, if somebody's long-term unemployed, that can really, like, fuck with their mental state, and, like, 
I, I just think that this wording was a little bit irresponsible. Like, okay, yeah, it, it definitely came off as harsh. I'm not going to yeah. get rid of all hyperbole from how I talk. I've already had to censor like 95% yeah. of the things I say on the internet. Like, I want to be hyperbolic yeah. every now and then. I guess if there's like, and I've been very clear on this in the past, my stream is not a safe space. And I don't mean that like yeah. in a safe space insulting way. Like, I have a big autistic, or not autistic, well, maybe I do. I have a big mental illness community. I know I have a big trans community. I've got a lot of LGBT people. And that's cool that they're here, but none of this is like an explicitly safe space for any of these people um like there are times when i'm going to yeah. be hyperbolic like if that's something that's such a turnoff that like you just can't deal with that which is totally valid by the way like i'm probably not the streamer for you um like yeah. when i'm like giving advice on stream or i'm talking about like hey like you can improve your situation in this way or whatever like i don't think i have many people that are sincerely watching that honestly interpret what i'm saying as oh destiny thinks it's as easy as just moving to figure everything out like the only people that think that are people that like clip snipe me and then try to like run off with this like crazy conclusion you don't normally watch my stuff yeah, like, I don't think you're one of those bootstraps kind of people. I can kind of understand how they'd get that impression, because to be honest, like, I didn't think the video was the best that was uploaded to YouTube. Like, I I've seen you talk about things in a way that I think is a little bit more clear about your position. So I just didn't think it was a great video in that, like, I don't think it conveyed your position in a way that is more faithful to it, if that makes sense. Like, not to sound too critical, um, but like in other conversations I've heard you have, you didn't at all give off that impression. But I, I think for some people, they might genuinely misunderstand you here. Um, I don't like believe it, it anymore. Be bad faith. I, I, I just, uh, I've like, I've been like so clipped by so many different communities, whether it's about pedophilia or child porn, or whether it's about me wanting mm -hmm. to nuke Vietnam or me hating poor people or, or thinking all workers are the scum of the earth because they don't have manager brains. Like, I don't believe in the, like, well, some people just legitimately miss it. I think people run around the internet, like looking for shit to clip, like as disingenuously as possible so that they can have their little mm -hmm. Twitter tirade and look good to their audience. That's where I'm at right now. Or I yeah, guess, well, bombing for some that's definitely true. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. Because I, I think I did hear some people who legitimately like had a misunderstanding of your position. Um, where I don't know. I feel like um, that video in particular wasn't the best expression of your positions, and so that's partly why I wanted to clarify. Um, but yeah, like, it's not that I think that you need to censor literally everything you say and never ever use hyperbole. I just think suicide is one of those issues that's a little bit, um, like, it's a little bit sensitive, uh, understandably. And look, it's not that I, I, don't, I don't think you can ever say, like, oh, lol, kill yourself or saying, like, um, it's just, like, I feel like there are people who already feel a bit like, you know, oh, it's it, that's it for me. I might as well just jump in front of a train and... I just worry a little bit that, like, saying to them, oh, you'll never make it, you're fucked, you know, you just need to... I mean, like, that, I, I mean, like, like that that's my, really that's how, that's my, like, style of, like, talk. That's what I do. Like, I'm not going to cater, yeah. like, I, I don't have a place on the internet where I'm saying that, like, if you're suicidal, like, genuinely, you're welcome here and we're going to try to help you with your suicidal. That's just, that's not what oh, I do. I don't want that not. responsibility. Like, I don't want, that's not what I do. Like... Yeah, I, I guess I just, I mean, we can agree to disagree. I just thought it was, like, a little bit harsh. Cause, sure, like, it is. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like, people who are unemployed, like, speaking of someone who has been in that position before, like, of being unemployed for longer than I would have liked, you know, it can it can really weigh on your mental health and you can actually feel, like, a lack of self-worth. So I just feel like on that subject it was a little bit too mean where, like, I, I think if you were just talking to that chat out, like, more specifically, maybe it, you know, wouldn't be as bad, but, like, it just seems really mean to say to, like... Yeah, of course, yeah, audience. it was mean, sure, yeah. Yeah, it is mean, but, like, okay. that's, like, part of what I do. Like, I mean to people. Like, I shout okay. at people, I scream at people. It's a little annoying that, like, so many people thought it was so funny when I did it to conservatives, but then when I do it sometimes to people on the left, now I'm, like, literally fucking Hitler. I, I don't know. But, I mean, like, that's my branding. Like, and you should know that. Like, not you particularly, but, like, if anybody's watching my stream, like, you should know that. I'm a mean person. Like, legitimately. Like, a lot of the stuff, well, yeah. not me, not legitimately. But, like, a lot of the rhetoric I use is really harsh. I'm edgy. Like, I say a lot of, like, mean shit sometimes. Like, that's just who I am. Like, if you're here but because you're, like, like, teetering on the edge of suicide, and, and, like, I'm the one that pushes you over. Like, if it wasn't me, you were going to stumble into somebody else that, like, you shouldn't have been watching, I guess. Like yeah i guess i mean like i i don't um like i'm not trying to say like oh you're literally fully responsible if somebody kills themselves like that's not really what i believe because i still think like their mental health obviously plays a role in all that i just think that knowing that 
this particular demographic will have trouble with mental health most likely or you know at least with their self-worth because in our society we sort of condition people to think like if they're unemployed that they're worthless and I, I think that given that it's a little bit extra like it's a little too far I think basically and maybe for you it's not too far we can agree to disagree here um I, ju I just think it goes too far like and and as well like i think it depends how you're attacking conservatives as well because there are ways like there are ways i don't really mind if you're mean to conservatives like depending on the context but even so like if a conservative said like oh i'm unemployed i, I find it really hard to get a job or saying and this was the response i'd still think it was too harsh so i mean like I again like and i understand your point of view on that and i can maybe respect your point of view but not with respect to the content at large like we're literally yeah. like making fun of Rush Limbaugh for dying of cancer. We're talking about rat wow. faced fuck Pete. We're talking about Snake Warren. Like, nah, I just I don't I don't care anymore. Like I like I spent so long, like fucking I'm the biggest like fucking SJW intersectionalist in the world now. And it's like for what? Like that's not trendy anymore. Like literally no one cares about that. Like a lot of these people just moved on to clash class consciousness is now like the new meme. That the only thing that people care about and all that other bullshit about like, oh, treat people nice and like don't like disparage people and able like, nobody actually gives a fuck about that that was just like the trendy shit of the week on youtube and now people have moved on so i don't know it seems weird to try I mean, to hold myself to the same standards when like we were like everybody on the left is like full in now like on this crazy like gay purity testing and like the vicious personal attacks like fuck like what what the fuck is the point even yeah i guess like i i understand where you're at like i think you're feeling frustrated with the left broadly speaking online and i share some of the same frustrations like i really don't like the bernie or bus sort of crowd but i still think like it's worth holding to the same values like if you genuinely believe in them like if you think that genuinely like like it i guess it depends what the issue is but like yeah, I, I actually, I think intersectionality is good, and I actually think you were right about the Pete Buttigieg stuff. Like, I, I do think it's a little bit messed up that his homosexuality is kind of, like, up for... Debate. Uh, debate, criticism, whatever. Like, I, I don't really like that sort of whole thing. It just seems a little bit, I don't know, tasteless. Like, because even, even, like, there are things that I really, that really bothered me about that, actually. Like, the, um... Like, oh, he kisses his partner like, you know, you'd kiss your grandmother or something. And I'm like, yeah, but do you not also think that being a gay man, like, it's not exactly like he can go up there and passionately, like, mack on with his partner. Like, he can't just, like, go out there and eat his face. Like, it's it's got a little bit, like, you know, there's probably a bit more tension around public displays of affection yeah, if possible. you're a homosexual. Like, or it's just, yeah, to, or it could even just be because yeah. it's kissing somebody on the campaign trail. Like, all of Bernie's kisses yeah. with his wife also look really weird. And it's just because, like, public, it's just weird, yeah. Like, it, yeah, not like not weird, but, like, it's just, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it seemed weird because I'm like, they're going, well, what did you expect? Did you expect him to get out there and, like, Like, start on, making like, out? Like, fucking like, his husband yeah. on stage <laughs> or some shit? Like, unless he's full-on, like, like, hardcore <laughs> analing his fucking husband there? Like, he's not really gay? Like, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's, he's not gay enough. He didn't go out there and fuck his husband in the ass in front of the entire crowd like yeah. you know just it's such a fucking weird like Purity line test. of thinking to me um because it's like well do you not understand that maybe because he's kissing his husband in front of a crowd like that maybe it's a little bit less like you know comfortable um but yeah like as well like i have to say we've come a long way that you know a, a candidate, candidate can even for president can actually like kiss their partner at all mm -hmm. like even if it is a bit of a like crap kiss like i i guess i didn't mind like joking about like maybe just joking about lack of affection but i think like it gets sinister when they start mentioning your sexuality in that like, yeah yeah anyway sorry i'll check my notes again because i think i've just we've gone off on a tangent as i often do um so what else did i write down here oh yeah um so the quotes were like uh Poor people are some of the most financially fucking retarded people in the world. True. Poor people max out their credit cards buying Nikes and like True. Microphones. Sometimes they do, not, yep. <laughs> not that that's the only reason people are poor. Um, a, a lot of poor people get into debt from bad spending habits and financial illiteracy. True. I did actually, with some of them I paraphrased a little bit or cut it down to size and, you know, removed some expletives, but these are generally the ideas. Um, if you're well adjusted, you'll be able to buy, uh, bribe friends with pizza to help you move, that kind of sentiment. So, um, I do agree that within, like, poor communities, there can be problems with debt and credit cards and not really understanding, 
um, well, I guess financial illiteracy is a simple way of putting it. Mm -hmm. But I, I also think, like, to just put the blame on poor people. I'm not putting the blame on poor people. I've never, ever said that. Like, okay. I guess you can read it that way if this is the only video you've ever seen. But, like, dude, I've, I've, I must have said, like, 50 trillion fucking yeah. times that, like, yeah, you know, like, if you're poor, you're less likely to be educated. If you're blah, blah, blah. Like, like I've said this shit, like, a million fucking times. But that doesn't mean that, like, when talking to an honest, like, like, listen, like, spend your fucking money better. Like, don't waste your fucking shit. Like, I see poor people spend their money in a lot of really fucking stupid ways. Like, this, this whole, like, weird, like, reductio ad uh, determinism is, like, very fucking weird. We're like, oh, well, actually, nobody can do anything ever because it's all about systems and structures like okay that's weird but like i think I, I should be able to say at some point like man like x group of people like really spend their money in really fucking horrible ways like yeah i just i don't really like the generalizations here like because i, I know you like add in you added in here like to be good faith about this you did add in here um not that that's the only reason people are poor ever, but I, I think there are a lot of people who end up in debt for reasons that aren't necessarily just like, oh, they wanted to go out and buy the next Nikes and that kind of thing. And I think that's pretty uncharitable and unfair. Like, I don't think the majority of people that have especially credit card debt are there because of emergencies. I think a lot of people have very bad under, like financial literacy, like understanding how to spend their money. Yeah, yeah, and it is true, like, I've definitely met some of those myself, like, maybe, I don't know if Australia has different, like, culture and credit cards, um, but I, I definitely have met some people who, like, kind of just treated it as if it was, like, in their More bank money. account. More money, yep. Like, yeah, yeah, so it, it is true it happens, but it's also that I think that there's... There's a problem with how these things are sold to people and advertised, where I think they're sold to people as that. Like, I, I remember I got this letter from the bank once that said, from your sensible side, you've been sensible for all these years and it's time to treat yourself. It's time to reward yourself for all your hard work saving and all that, blah, blah, blah. Get a credit card. It's pre-approved and all of that. And I, I found that really fucked up because I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, of like, course. <laughs> I've said multiple times right. in the past. But I honestly, like, I think credit cards should just be banned. I don't think they should exist. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, I just, I, I think it's, like, I don't really like this whole, oh, poor people are stupid, poor people are stupid, when it's, like, well, these things are literally being sold to them as though it is just spare money. Yeah, money and it works because account. they're stupid. Like, like, I mean, that's how it works. Like, that's the only reason that advertisement <laughs> works. I don't see shit okay, like that well. and start getting a whole bunch of fucking dumbass credit cards. But, I mean, obviously, the reasons why people are dumb is because they don't have the proper training. They weren't brought up in a household with money or wealth, so they don't have, like, access to that. Of course, I said that a million times. But I can also be talking talking to a per the problem is that and I said this a long I said this like I think I said this 3 or 4 years ago where it's really hard to separate out giving advice to somebody versus talking about policies because like and I wonder sometimes the way these people talk to their kids you know like if I were to have through some weird act of God, if I were to give birth to a black daughter, like if my daughter, if my black daughter was asking me in school, like, hey dad, like, you know, I'm getting bullied by students in class, like what should I do? Like my answer wouldn't be, well, we need government programs because you're gonna be disadvantaged due to the systemic structural issues that exist both in the educational system mm -hmm. and in the generations of, of wealth inherited by the white people around you that are disparaging. But no, it'd be like, okay, well listen, this is what you have to do to fix your shit. Like this is what you have to do to solve your problems. Like you have to do this or this or this or this. Like you can't sit around and wait for everybody to fix your problems for you. Now, if we're if I'm having a debate about like government policy or like, well, what can we do to address these systemic issues? Like that's one conversation. But if I'm giving like a personal like amount of advice to somebody, it's See never going to have anything to do with policy. If I talk to a poor person, yeah. I'm not going to tell them, like, oh, well, I think that payday loans and credit cards should be illegal for poor people. It's going to be like, dude, don't get a fucking credit card. Don't get a fucking moron. You can't afford it. You can't get this credit card. You shouldn't do this. This is stupid. Stop. Like these are two different types of like conversations. Well, yeah, I agree with that. I just, I don't know. Like, again, maybe maybe this is just me being too sensitive or whatever, and I just go, oh, that's mean. Don't be mean. Um, Like, maybe that's just what this is, because, like, I just sort of go, well, yeah, but are you really sending that message, or are you just kind of, like, berating somebody for being a bit dumb with their money? Where, like, sure, and that's a valid critique. Know. If you were like, yeah. hey, Destiny, you're really fucking insensitive to your messaging? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can see that 100%. But it's not valid for, for Vosh to be like, well, I think that the way you talk about poor people betrays a deeper or belies a deeper understanding of your hatred for the poor. It's like, what? 
yeah, like, I, I think maybe that's, like, an uncharitable conclusion to come to, but I also don't think it's entirely unwarranted if you've just gone on a big tirade saying that poor people are retarded, poor people are this, poor people are that, poor people are dumb. You but know, he like, knows all of my content, much like, the same way that I wouldn't listen to his 50 millionth weird joke about women and think that he hates women, or, or much mm -hmm. the same that I wouldn't say that he got banned from Twitch for talking about nuking Israel and think he wants to kill all Jews, because I'm familiar with his broader mm -hmm. content or whatever. Um, I was a little unfair in that I applied, like, a lot of the broader lefty generalization stem, although I did apologize that I tell him I know you don't do that or whatever, and I, it's not fair for me to do that. Yeah. But like, but I was at least clear about that. But for him, who engages in a lot of hyperbole himself, which he does, for him to come mm -hmm. to me and be mm -hmm. like, so what did you mean when you said all poor people should kill themselves? Like, okay, come on, dude. Like, if you want to be critical yeah. on me for being too harsh, yeah, sure. But don't sit here and pretend that my, you think you believe my honest position is that all poor people should commit suicide. You and me both know that you don't think that. Why are you trying to virtue yeah. signal to your audience how good you're being here and acting like you're attacking a real argument? That whole conversation, I think, was just kind of a shit show, and it didn't really help to illustrate either of your positions. It just kind of... Sure, but know, I mean, when his stream... Like, he's literally yeah. telling his stream, like, Destiny's completely mm. changed, and, like, this stream is going to be shitting on Destiny, yeah. the new conservative arc. It's like, okay, well, it's not like I'm going to be, like, hardcore trying to engage this in good faith, oh, yeah, because it's yeah, pretty yeah. clear you've no, already no, taken no, the gloves off. That wasn't a criticism of you. Like, sure. it was just a comment on, like, the nature of the conversation. I'm not saying, like... Oh, can't believe you're so mean to Vosh sure. out of nowhere. Like it's not, <laughs> it's not like that. I know, I know it was, uh, it, you know, he was like shit talking you, and you were going, "Hey, well, what the fuck? You know, you should know me well enough to know, you know, etc." It just kind of got out of hand. That was more of a, you know, yeah, comment on the entire conversation rather than sure. saying it's like your fault or saying. But yeah, okay. Well, I guess that clears things up um but yeah if there's anything else you want to say hi about or talk about i don't know that nope. didn't make any sense i'm good not enough cap well, well thanks uh, for the I'm conversation have, coffee, have fun with your minecraft um but yeah i guess i'll point people towards the vod if they've got any uh questions about it because i think we've raised most of it here mm -hmm. um uh, I apparently already talked about this earlier today, which I wasn't here for, so I apologize for uh, probably retreading some of the same ground. Um, sorry, chat, because I know somebody was uh, pretty mad at me for that. Like, what the fuck? He talked about this an hour ago. What the fuck? And I'm like, well, look, I wasn't there for that, okay? Yeah, no problem. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'll uh, see you later. Yep, have fun. Be careful, okay? Okay, bye. Right, bye. You're either super ignorant or super dishonest when it comes to acknowledging innate differences in mental hey, ability for people. I don't think that people are born with the finance brain. I don't think there is an accountant brain and a finance brain and then a debt brain. I don't believe that. I reject that. I'm sorry. God's is there a poor people brain? Anyone, That's the real question. Anyone, yeah, tenant. Anyone, anyone be able to own that. Yeah. It's just wrong. What's up, my dude? And I heard you got, And I promise you, as president, huh? I am going to get the... Oh, I'm serious about that offer. I'll go on every podcast you have. If you and every other person that you're on, media blackouts, um, Bad Bunny, Mike, and I guess Asan. I don't care about Asan, but Bad Bunny and Mike. That means you really no are going to ruin my podcast. Dude. That means What's no like? going on streams with them, no looking at videos of them, and if I hear about it, then I'm withdrawing my support. <laughs> I might as well just rebrand my podcast to the Destiny Orbiter podcast. That sounds point. good. <laughs> Do it. Amen, brother. Or just get all the other people to stop talking to them. Let them drop off and die. In a video game. <laughs> I'll think about it, buddy. Okay. Um, I know you just talked to Claudia, but did you want to talk about your, your poor people no, moving? Sure, we can have the exact same yeah. conversation if you want, yeah. Alright, I don't, I don't think that we're going to disagree on too much. Probably I just think not. that... Yeah, um, okay. So, you at least acknowledge that, like, deposits are a thing, right? That people deal with quite often? Yeah, I, get, like, I mean, yeah, it's part of that. Sure. Well, first, you kind of, yeah, one month's rent deposit, sure. Um, well, it depends on the state, right? Um, so there are certain laws that require or that basically disallow renters from charging over a certain amount of uh, like for their deposit. Some places like in Arizona, for instance, I believe it was like one and a half months rent is the most that they could charge for a deposit. Sure. But if a we're saying of, that you live states, in a place, it's, sure, it's real quick, just real quick worth. math thing. OK, if you're in a place where it's requiring the first and math last month's rent plus a security deposit, and then you have to pay the same at the next place you're going to, it's still technically kind of only one month's deposit because the last month of rent that you have at your place should be free because you've already paid for it. So it's still one month's rent. 
for a deposit. Well, assuming that you get your deposit back. A if lot you're losing you a security on- deposit and your uh, last month of rent, then fuck you. You fuck that place up beyond all recognition if the landlord is honestly justifying keeping that much. There's no yeah, way. Mo- most, of, most of the time. But like um, a lot of the times there's some fuckery that goes on with landlords like saying like accusing the, the person staying there of like doing damages where there was really no damages done, right? Like, and, sure, and I guess that can happen. Have, sure. have the money or resources to take them to court over that sort of like claim, right? Like, sure, but like, I, like your security deposit in your last month aren't those two separate things? Like, they're not taking uh, your deposit plus your entire last month of rent and applying that to your deposit. That's just your last month of rent. Even if you don't get back any of your deposit, then you would have to come up with a security deposit and, and uh, uh, kind of a first and last month of rent for the next place. But you wouldn't have to pay the last month of rent. I need numbers on this. Sorry, if you if you guys are gonna honestly tell me that it's a it's a it's a typical case scenario that the landlord lord will steal your entire deposit and your entire last month of rent to cover a deposit and demand, I need a source on that. G- good luck. I'd love to see that. I'm super curious about that. As- I don't know. I don't what I don't know what stin- distinction you're making between like the the deposit itself and like last month's rent. Maybe I'm confused there. Well, my understanding is that a, a, an apartment can ask for three things altogether. If you've got shit credit, they can ask for the first, last, and deposit. So they're asking you to pay upfront the first month's rent, the last month's rent, and then a security deposit. My understanding is that that last month's rent, though, is your last month's rent. It's not just a security deposit. That, that Maybe your security deposit is also equal to your rent, but that the security deposit and the last month's rent are, are two separate things. I was under the assumption that the deposit is assumed to be your uh, the first and last month's rent. Like the, that, that is the. Oh, deposit if they do that, itself. then fine. Then I, that means you don't have a security deposit. You're just paying first and last. Then, then you have your first month and your last month. Sure. Okay. It has nothing well, to do with way, shit I for think, credit. It's very typical regardless of credit. So this might just be my anecdote. I think I've lived in five or six or seven apartments throughout my life. I've never, ever had to put down more than like 500 to to $1,000. On this place that I live at right now, I think my security deposit was like 500 bucks, And my rent is $3,200 a month. So I think it ha- I must have to do or something with, with your Reddit. Uh, not your Reddit. I'm sorry, with your uh, credit. Right. But my, my, my living experience is only in Virginia, Nebraska, California, and only across a few cities. So maybe my apartment experiences are very anecdotal. Right, no, and if you oftentimes if you have really good credit, they don't even charge a deposit sometimes. Sure. So yeah, absolutely. But okay, yeah. So um, for so yeah, so there are some edge cases where a landlord could fuck you over and try to keep all of your shit or whatever, um, and, and that sucks. But I, I think that should be the exception rather than the rule. Well, no, it's not. I, I agree that is the exception. But however, regardless, um, deposits are often a barrier um, for people moving. Right. That that is a cost. Like that. Okay, is sure, it can be. Of, yeah, sure. Hundreds or thousands of dollars sure. just right there in deposits to move. Okay. It shouldn't um, hundreds well, I, or I, thousands of... Okay, sure, it can be a barrier. That, that doesn't change any of the advice that I would give to a person. If I was giving financial counseling to a poor person, and they were like, fuck, like, I can't afford my current apartment, like, I don't know what to do, then I'd be like, okay, listen, you got to figure out a way to move out. And they're like, oh, well, I can't afford the security deposit. Oh, well, sorry, dude. Here's the noose. Go hang yourself. Good luck. Like, no, you would figure out a way to maybe stay with a friend, maybe stay with a family. You have to figure some way to get out if you can't afford the place you live in now. Like, that's it. Like... Well, yes, I, I, again, I agree with you. Um, okay. But, like, I just, like, it, it It feels weird when you spend, like, I think, like, 20 minutes or something in a video, like, just shitting on poor people. I'm not or, like, just shitting not on just... poor people, though. I'm shitting on the fucking morons in my chat that are literally screeching. Any time you give, the thing is, is with you guys on the left now, any time you give even one piece of advice about self-improvement, all the excuses come out. You guys are like the black pill, except with class instead of, like, dick and vagina. Like, it's insane. Like, if you say to somebody, like, hey, like, maybe, um, maybe you should, like, look for a different type of work. Just get a job, forehead! Like, maybe you should, like, downgrade your just sell your okay, car I forehead the, like holy shit like you literally okay. can't give any type of advice to kill themselves yeah because people in chat were literally saying it's impossible to fucking move and then saying shit like well what if you what if you move cross country but you don't have a job lined up yet like what the fuck kind of dumbass fucking idiot are you they would want one that you would move cross country and two that you would move without getting a job first like what the fuck i love you by the way sorry if i'm just shouting <laughs> i bet you do yeah no it's fine um like, okay, so first of all, yeah, I fucking had a point, and then you're, you're, you're Sorry. Just screeching. Just so you said that it sounded totally bad because I'm literally telling poor people to kill themselves in a whole video. 
Yeah, so no, like you could like I, I find this really weird that you use the justification of like, well, people had bad takes in my chat and I was trying to offer like self help advice when your self help is like if you can't get a job, just kill yourself. I that doesn't no, feel like that was my response. Me, so I did, when I when I say something like, Oh, you know, like the two big ways, here's the two things you need to do, okay, to survive. You need to cut costs, you need to increase income. For most poor people, increasing your income is really hard, so cutting costs is the way to go. So that can either be finding a parallel job that pays a little bit more, it could be downsizing your car, it could be downsizing the place you live. When I say something like that and then people's responses are like oh, i can never find what if it's impossible to find work or what if it's impossible to find uh, uh, uh like a new place to live or blah 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 and it's like okay well, what the fuck like we're at three and a half percent unemployment right now if you can't find a job now you're fucked you're never gonna make it in any economy ever that's just a fact like if you can't right. do it like right yeah. now like I, finding like a, a service level retail job in this economy you're fucked you're no economy is gonna help you you're always gonna be fucked in life like start a gofundme like i think that's fair advice I understand the unemployment rate is low, but you really like just being employed, like just working at McDonald's or like a fast food place doesn't necessarily give you the means to be able to like just pick up and move. Right. A lot of people are underemployed. A lot of people. What is it like 40 percent of Americans have less than four hundred dollars worth of savings. And like oftentimes the cost of moving even interest state is like in the thousands. No, so I reject that. If you're moving someplace in your city, it shouldn't be costing you thousands of dollars. You should be able to get this done for less than no, a couple. No, interest state. Maybe not in the same city, but we're talking about like moving to better economic opportunities, which usually means moving into an entirely different city. It doesn't have to be. There's plenty, especially if you live in a decent sized city, you can probably find like another apartment or another area. And even if you are moving intrastate, it shouldn't be thousands of dollars if you're moving like 60 miles away. Like, yeah, if you are moving like cross country or some shit, it's probably going to be expensive, sure. From the numbers that I found, the average cost intrastate is like $11,000 or $1,100 rather. Uh, across state, the average is like $5,000. Yeah, first of all, so moving cross state, but like I, you would have to see like how those averages work out. My guess is going to be that generally the people that make those moves are probably more wealthy people that have the money to spend and they're moving a ton of furniture. So, of course, those averages are going to be driven up a bit sure yeah but i'm just saying like it, it is there there are a lot of people a sizable portion of americans that don't just have the option to move for better economic opportunity even if it would be the smarter choice to do sure so, it doesn't right? even necessarily have to be it can just be downsizing your apartment can you not acknowledge that there are some do you believe that it's possible if you're poor that there are some things you can do to control your budget to to, to better your spending or do you think that's literally impossible absolutely only okay. with the resources available to you. Sure. Right. And like, one of those things you can yeah. do is getting a different house. Like, that's one thing that you can do to control your budget. You can downsize your car. You can downsize the place you live. Yeah, you absolutely can. But, like, if, if, if you are an American that's living paycheck to paycheck... Um, even if you might be able to save in the long run more money by moving to an apartment that's maybe just across the street, just the, the cost of like moving your stuff, uh, I, I guess you could say like, we'll get a friend that has a truck or something, right? Um, which you could do, I guess, if you had a friend that could help you do that. Um, or like, but like I said, like the, the first last month's rent, like the deposits, stuff like that. Um, I don't know. There, there's like a number of other. So what do you costs. do? So then what's um, the alternative? In, including like, tell me what the alternative is then. You're in a place that's too that expensive. Is... So do you die? Do you just kill yourself? Do you drown yourself in the sink? How do you kill yourself? What do you, what do, you do? Can you can you answer that for me? Because uh, I had well, to because when I lived in the early do. part of I my life, it's do, no no no. It. I'm, I'm, so I want to know what you would do now, okay? So let's pretend that we're not a kid that like talks about this shit online. You're in a real life situation now. You live in a place that you can't afford. Your phone is getting shut off every other fucking month, and sometimes you got to go to a friend's house to shower because your utilities are getting shut off too. What do you do at that in that case? Do you just stay there forever and go? Oh well, I can't afford the next in security American deposit. Blah blah blah. What what is your alternative? I'm sorry for shouting at you. Yeah, you probably have to make a sacrifice. You have there to downsize. You have you have to like like lower your standard of living. Absolutely. Cool. Then we then we don't disagree on anything. Exactly. I knew we wouldn't disagree on that. I think <laughs> then what are you arguing with me for? I just I think it's I I don't know. I don't I don't buy it that like when you go on this 20 minute rant it's like very much just shitting on like poor people. No, like, what I'm like, shitting oh, on are people like you that push back on the idea that like because something is hard it's impossible to do. If I'm talking to a person and they're in a place that they can't afford and my advice is listen dog you got to move and then you're like screaming oh it's hard it's impossible blah 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 it's not there are two options. You either move or you don't. If you don't move it's going to be a worse outcome every single time than if you do move. Is moving hard? Yeah. Is it hard when you're poor? Sure is. Like are, is it going to suck? Are you going to to fucking miss a cell phone payment or two yeah sure are you gonna have to stay with a friend or family member for a month while you save it for now yeah sure but that's always going to be better than just staying in a place where you're slowly dying that's my only point i love you yeah no like 
I, but you don't I disagree agree. with I that. Just, you don't think that they I, you shouldn't tell them to just stay in I the same think, place and die, right? I, I agree. I agree. Yes, okay. I agree. I agree. Yeah, if, if you are in that situation, it is absolutely necessary that you make some sort of sacrifice. If that requires you to move to a place that's like obvious, like less expensive in the long run, even if it requires some sort of like uh, financial sacrifice in the in the immediate, even if you like, yeah, I, obviously. Okay, but, then, then we agree. I, I don't know. I just I. I, I hate... You're going to say it's tone policing. I just don't find your rhetoric convincing. It's like, not. I, I, I'm being I, a mean person. And that's a legitimate criticism of me. If you don't uh, like my shit because I'm a mean person, then fucking A, dude. I'm an asshole a lot of the times on stream. Sure, I acknowledge that 100%. But you know what? That's what I've done my whole fucking life. It's why people love me when I talk to conservatives. It's why some people like it when I roast lefties. That's just... I'm a very harsh kind of person when it comes to that kind of shit. Sure. But you'd have to be a fool to watch the entirety of my content and think that I believe that all poor people deserve to die or all poor people should generally go and kill themselves. Well, I, I keep seeing you say this like, oh, well, lefties keep clipping me, blah, blah, blah. But like, dude, you went on a whole high rate of this stuff. I don't think that people yeah, are arguing really, against like, dumb fucks in my chat, though. Argue like responding to people in chat. Uh, like all of you guys are streamers, right? Aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So like, you know what it's like, like screaming at people in chat that are literally saying, and we can go through the comments and they're just as bad on any of these YouTube videos or any of these fucking Reddit threads as well. For all these fucking people that have never lived these situations at all, have no idea what it's like to be poor, like, like just fucking pontificating on like, oh, well, when you're poor, you don't even have $1.50 to your name. And this is the standard poor experience for everybody, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, okay, sorry. But, like, yeah, it's no, very no, frustrating like, when, like, like, talking to, like, when people in chat are literally trying to tell you that it is impossible or, or it is, like, it, like just you can't move when you're poor. You're just trapped in one place forever. And it's like, damn, dog, I don't think it's quite that destitute all the time. Dern City is meanie boy. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think that, like, um, I, I just, like, I, it's not... For me, being as somebody that's like watched you for a long time, and I think Vosh also also shares this. When he sees you like going on this tangent, uh, it it doesn't feel like it's in line with what you have done in the past necessarily. Like I think that like you've made these like these same points. When you say like, oh yeah, you could look at my body of work. I think I agree. Like you are pretty consistent on this particular issue, but the rhetoric that you used in this in this specific instance didn't seem to vary. Like in the past, it felt like you would at least take a moment to like be like okay well you know poor people because of their disadvantage yeah, and i generally do like 99 percent of the time and in one time when i'm fucking ranting against fucking people in my chat i forgot to give my 32 fucking point disclaimer but like i've given those disclaimers in the past but they never fucking matter anyway right like i've already done this sure. like i've done it with my workers are yeah. stupid thing which by the way they are and by the way every lefty that i've talked to has agreed with me when we further hammered that out but even when i gave that take i was like yeah of course poor people are fucking dumb or workers are fucking stupid they don't have the the, the seventy two thousand dollar education that's some pampered fucking kid that got from his parents got they don't know how to make the same decisions blah 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 and people literally ran with this thinking that i believe there's like a manager brain like i mean like, and that was with a trillion fucking disclaimers so like i don't know like at the end of the day like does it matter if i give a disclaimer or not like people are still gonna fuck me anyway yeah i guess i, I guess um yeah again i guess we really don't disagree on too much I, I just, it's not too, it's not, I think we could both agree, it's not too surprising that people took what you said as like, yeah, I'm not surprised people, at right? anything anymore. I'm not going to be surprised right. when people on the left start accusing <laughs> me of pedoph pedophilia, when people on the left start saying if I was on Epstein's fucking child rape logs or some shit. Like, it's all fucking projection anyway. Like, who knows how many fucking 12 year olds are in the video games. Like, I, listen, I love you, okay? And I know that you're not doing it, so. No, that's fine. It's chill. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other points I took notes of that I wanted to... Yeah, no, that was pretty much it. Okay. Oh, I did want to say, because uh, Vosh pointed it out as far as, like... Um, nah, we're not going to disagree on this either, because you were talking about, like, um, somebody in chat had made the comment of, like, oh, well, people have connections and, and like, uh, family and, like, uh -huh. stuff like that in their local communities. Yeah, and generally, you, you have, like, co-workers move. that'll help you work and shit. Like, I was familiar with this. You go to a Walmart or you go to a restaurant, you get a bunch of boxes and shit. They help you, like, pack your shit and move because they're usually throwing that shit out anyway. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things that poor people would do to, like, move. Yeah. Yeah. But what about it? But... Well, I was going to ask you, like, um, you agree that it's kind of shitty that a lot of people feel pressure to move out of places that are, like, their local communities where they're already, like, integrated into, like, those local communities. Yeah, like, I mean, you don't have to move, to, like, like have a whole move city a away. Better... And, yeah, that is shitty. Yeah. But, again, like, this is the... D uh, okay. Hi, dude. I do this so much. I'm not trying to project this on you, okay? But, like, when yeah, you're... When, when you... Ha you ha okay. 
This is just like a difference in like how we were brought up, okay? Like in my life growing up, you have to do what you have to do to survive. Like no one is gonna help you. Yep. No one is gonna take care of you. It's do or die, okay? There's not a GoFundMe waiting for you. There's not parents to fall back on. There's not a trust fund. There's not a rich uncle. Like it's do or die. So like if you have the opportunity in front of you to do something or you can just sit in some area and be destitute for the rest of your life, like is it fair? No. Does it suck? Yes. Does moving away from friends suck? Yeah, sure. Are you going to see them less? It's possible. But like, if those are your only two options, like you either do or die. Like you have to do what you have to do. Like, I, like it sucks. I agree with that. You know, are there systemic or structural changes that can be made so that that doesn't have to happen? Sure. Of course. Yeah. But right, like that was going to be my follow up. Of course, I, I, I obviously, yeah, obviously of course. Obviously, you would agree. Yeah, see, like I didn't think we'd disagree on sure. too much. I just, but I the, wanted to hear you say that. Like, yeah, at I understand. least you acknowledge that these. Yeah, it like, sucks. Of course, exist. it sucks. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But like this idea that like, well, blah 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 blah. Like you can't move. It's impossible. No, you can. You have to. You don't have the choice. You don't have the luxury of, of sitting there and theory crafting all the ways that it's impossible for you to fucking move. You just have to do it. Or, or even if it means like, even if it means skipping out on your last fucking rent or whatever and having your fucking wage, wages garnished in three months when the guy takes you to small claims, whatever you have to do. Like if, you, if you're trying to upgrade your life situation, you got to do it. Like that's it. And one of the ways you can do that is to live in a place that's a little bit cheaper <laughs> or get a roommate or whatever. That's all I'm saying. I love you. Though. Or offer favors. Yeah, too. true. All good options. What landlord right, would take man. favors? Wait, what favors could you offer, Dan? Sexual favors. favors depending, on, <laughs> depending on who the tenant is, you know what I'm saying? Good one, Dan. Well, Good job being a dumb fuck, Mike. Fuck off, dude. All right, I, I came You're in here saying that we wouldn't okay. disagree on too much. All right, Drew. That's some Drew ass shit, my dude. I'm not your blood for the blood gods. All right. All right, that was it. I gotta go make dinner. Peace okay. out, my dude. I love you, Mind Waves. Okay. Wait, what's your real name? Do you ever tell me you your too, first name? Ian, yeah. Oh, okay. I love you, Ian. Ugh, That's same name as name. Vosh. Yikes. That's but... a fucking beta <laughs> shit name. Yeah, I know. I share okay. names with a lot of cringy people. Take it easy, oh, Stephen. Be careful. Bernie hardcore bailed Bloomberg out when Elizabeth Warren had Bloomberg on the ropes with these.